and welcome to Mrs Patnell's phonics lesson for my group one if you're in my class where we are looking at phase two uh, just to learn how those first sounds how we can learn to write them recognize them and learn to use them in ways to start reading and writing words okay so let's get straight down to it we have learnt two sounds so far this week and we are going to learn a third sound today so we have already a little pile of flashcards here of sounds that you should already know. I'm going to show you this one first of all. Can you call out to the camera what sound this letter makes? Now I've got my non-cursive flashcards with me today, okay? But uh, you should recognize the fact that it's just missing a little cursive flick here that would come up to the app like this. So, just giving you the answer. So it is the A sound there, of course. And then if I show you this flashcard, this one that winds like a snake here, it's missing its cursive whooshes, but you should recognize this one as well because I showed you both over the course of this week. That makes the S sound. You're absolutely right. If you said the sound, there is our S. So that's two new sounds that we've learnt this week so far, s and a. Now, today I've got a new sound to show to you, and it looks like this when it's non-cursively written, okay? So this is our new sound of the day. This is how it will look in your reading books if you're in my class. I will show you how to write it cursively today. So this makes the t sound. And I'm going to read you the story to find out more about it. And then we're going to have a go at writing it. So if I go to my big old phonics book here, and we're looking at the sound of the day, which is t. And where is it? It's hiding in here. Here it is. So here is my big storybook for the sound t. Now you will see over here that you have the non-cursive t. That I showed you just now on the flashcard and next to it something that looks quite different today so it has a line across the top and a line going straight down which is kind of unusual and kind of different to the lower um, case one that I've shown you here this is the capital one remember we spoke about capital letters if your name should begin with a t sound okay so if your name is Tanya or Teresa or Timothy then you may be you may recognize a capital t because you've already started using one when you're writing your name, okay? So this is a capital one. Pretty much all you need to worry about is for names and things like that at this point, at this age. So that's what the capital one looks like, and it may appear in your reading books. And this is the lowercase non-cursive t, okay? So let's find out our story for the sound t. It says, the children play a game of tennis in the garden. They hit the ball with the racket. Their friends turn their heads from side to side as they watch. So they're imagining watching the tennis ball go backwards and forwards like this. So this is the action we have to do, turning our heads from side to side. And as we do it, we have to make the sound of the day, which is t, 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 t. Okay, so that's your action, a nice simple one for t. And that's what it looks like in its non-cursive form, and that's its capital t. So we're going to have a go at writing t today, okay? So we're going to take our whiteboards, or if you've got paper at home, absolutely fine. So I'm going to show you how to write a cursive t first, because if you're in my class, that's what I want you to write is a cursive one, okay? It looks pretty much like our flashcard for our non-cursive one. It just, as usual, has a flick to start us off, okay? So for our cursive ones, for if you're in my class, you start at the bottom, you whoosh up, you come down that same line until you curve the other way than your cursive whoosh, and then take your pen off for this one. So this is one of the letters we have to take your pen off and then come back to it and draw a line across the top. So that's your cursive t there, just like that, okay? I'll do it one more time for you so you can see. So we start at the bottom. We cursively whoosh up. We come down some of that line until we start to curve the other way. Pen off, come back to the board and cross through the top and you have a cursive t. 
Okay. If you're not in my class and you want to do it non-cursively, you would start at the top, go down, pen off and cross. So it's not much different. You just don't have that cursive bush to begin with. Okay. But in my class, if you can do it cursively, I'll do it one more time with you because I forgot to do our magic finger today. So I'll do an extra go in here. I'm going to stand up to make sure you can see with my bright lights here. So you start at the bottom. You whoosh up, tall, it's a nice tall letter, is the t, t for tall. Come down and then start to curve the other way from your cursive whoosh. Take your pen off, then come back and cross through the line. Not right at the top, but getting close to the top that you cross through. And there is your cursive t. Okay, so that is the new sound of the day, t. Every time you see this in reading books, which will probably look non-cursive, or if you are writing it, then that is the t sound. Right, I think we should probably revisit writing our s and our a, so we don't forget how to write those. So we're going to be writing cursively, so we always start at the bottom. If you can remember how to do it yourself before I show you, then pause the video and write your own one on your board. But I'm going to do it now. So start at the bottom for our s, we're going up to the top and we're curving. We're curving back this way, or we're going around this way, but then we decide to change our path around this way and then tickle the bottom underneath. And that's your cursive S. Let me do that one more time with you. Start at the bottom, always starting at the bottom, cursively whooshing up when we're cursively writing, coming around this way, turning around to the other way and then tickling the bottom as you come out and that is your cursive okay if you're writing it and it's not cursive then you will start at the top and you will come round and curve round without the whoosh to start you off and finish you but if you're in my class do the nice cursive okay rub your balls off we're going to have a go at doing the a sound okay so the a sound was this one here, that's our non-cursive one. So you can pause the video and have a go at doing at on your board if you can remember how to do it. Otherwise, we will do it together now. So we start at the bottom where we always start and we whoosh up and we curve a bit like we did with our s. But then we come back round, we're thinking about making a sort of circle shape, coming up the side, down and flick. And that is our cursive a. Let me do it one more time with you. So we start at the bottom, we go up and we start to curve around, come back following that same curve but start to come round and make a circle down and a flick to finish. If you're doing it non-cursively, if you're not in my class, you'd start at the top, you'd go round and down and flick. But in my class, if you could do the lovely cursive bush to begin with, that would be fantastic. So that's revisiting your s and your a, and of course the sound of the day, which is t. Right, okie dokie. Now, to finish off our lesson today, I would like to play what's in the box. Now, I haven't got a box with me today, so I'm using my maths tin here as well. So for what's in the box, I have got lots of items in here, you can hear them. I am going to pick one by looking in the tin and I'm going to robot talk the items that are in the tin, okay? So when I say robot talk, I'm going to use all the sounds that I would need if I was going to write this word, okay? But I want you to hear my robot talk and tell me what word it is that I am robot talking. So you've got to hear all the sounds I'm making, squeeze them together and think, what word does that sound like that she is robot talking, that Mrs. Patnoy is robot talking, and then yell it out to the camera. I'll give you a little chance to think, you can even pause the video if you want a bit extra time to think, and then I will pull out the item I was robot talking, and you can see if you were right, okay? So, my first one that I'm going to robot talk is what word am I trying to say in my robot talk? S uh, mm. Can you hear what word that might sound like? S uh, mm. Have a think. Call it out to the camera. Pause it now if you want to because I'm going to say what it is I was saying. So my s uh, mm is sun. S uh, mm. Sun. There it is. Okay. 
My next one I'm going to pull out is, well, I'm not going to pull it out yet, I'm going to say it in robot talk. I'm going to go with this one. P-I-G, P-I-G. What word does that sound like? P-I-G. Have a little think, call it out to the camera. If you want to pause the video to have a little think for a bit longer, you can, but P-I-G. What word am I robot talking? P-I-G. It is a pig. I don't know if you can see him there, a little picture of a little piggy. So, P-I-G, pig. My next one that I'm going to look at in the tin is an M-A-T. 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 What word does it sound like I am robot talking? M-A-T. What does it sound like? Pause the video if you want extra time to think, but M-A-T is a mat, a mat that you might wipe your dirty feet on maybe, or you might sit on the mat. It is a mat, mat. Okay, next in my pot, I am going to look at a boat, boat. What word am I robot talking, boat? It is, pause the video if you want to think about it, but boat. But I am robot talking a boat sailing on the seas. Okay, my last one I'm going to robot talk is an app. Oh, app. Oh, what does it sound like? I am robot talking app. Oh, call it out to the camera if you know what word I am trying to say in robot talk. And I am saying an app. Oh, an apple. An app. Cool. There it is. Fantastic. If you did really well with that, then pat yourself on the back. Fantastic working out my robot talking words. We will have another go at that in the next few weeks. Um, and these are all the sounds that when you're trying to spell words that you have to listen out for. So you've got to get used to breaking words into or segmenting words into the sounds. And that's what's going to help you spell and write words the more sounds that we are learning together. Okay, so... That's three new sounds for us today. So our sound of the day with its action was t, 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 t. We also have learnt our ah, ah, ah with our ants on our arm this week. And we have learnt our sound this week. So well done you guys, that's three new sounds that you've learnt. In fact, if I was to put them together, we could already read a whole word. So, if I had, and I might have to tilt my camera, let me tilt it so you can see it. If I move my camera down to here, you can see that the three sounds you've learnt, if I put them in this order with this first, this second and this third, we can squeeze them, blend them together to read our very first word. So we have got Try and squeeze them a bit closer and do it a bit faster. Sat, sat, sat. Our first word that we can read is sat, sat. I sat on a chair. Fantastic. Let's tilt our camera back up again. So, we're already reading some words in only one week and you've done some fantastic writing as well. So I will see you next week when we tackle some new sounds. Bye-bye.